During the last two episodes of this series, we took our Chinese mini jeep and the Chinese ATV to Crested Butte with the goal of seeing if they could be able to handle being tossed about on some very rough terrain. We began the testing by climbing a 650 foot mountain that featured rocks, water puddles, steep hills, and a pond. Look, if you can put fish in it, it's a pond. What you guys previously saw was the first segment of the testing. While we did show a variety of different challenges, that phase was mainly encompassed by beautiful views and fun riding. But in this second phase, we're going to be focusing on the now, rougher than ever trail that will serve as the finale to testing them. This trail will definitely push them to their limits, and we're going to be watching how they stand up to it. But specifically for me, I'm going to be trying not to compress my spine too much. Let's begin. Well, here goes the second part. I'm not very uh, enthusiastic about this because I've heard there's some rocks. So we're going to find some rocks probably. Let's see what that means. by finding some rocks, we absolutely did. And this was just the start of it. So now I know what they mean by there's rocks up on this one. Like that wasn't enough, we rounded the corner to find another rock garden, but this time on a hill. Of course, the GoPro had to do its thing and make it look like flat ground. This angle portrays it a little better. Determined to get past the rocks, we pushed on at a horribly slow pace. But the rocks just kept going on, and on, and on. It was at this point that we began to run into some issues. You know the bar that sits underneath an ATV designed to protect the chain? Yeah, well, let's just say it got used. Whoa! Whoa, 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 stop, stop. Oh no, that's stop. All right, let's see. Go, go, go. And it was just then that I had a very strange realization moment. You see, if my brother gets stuck on that rock, why would I try to do the same thing? If the ATV won't do it, then the Jeep will not do it for sure. So yeah, on those rocks, there's just so little damping. It's just very rough to get traction and control. Uh, I mean, these, these are not special ones. They're just basic shots. Oh my gosh. Wow. My shoes are wet now. Basically, these shock absorbers, they're doing the best they can, but they are really at their limit right now. And yeah.
Now we did leave the rocks behind, but what's coming up next has the potential to completely destroy the mini jeep's engine. Say hello to the deepest water puddle on the entire trip. You'll know which one it is when you see it. That, yeah, that's not a very good thing. Oh, man. Wow. I feel like I went for a swim with my clothes on. And there goes Ryan. So, well, that's not too good. Um, time to investigate. What happened? I think I fried it. How do the electrics look? Uh, they don't look awful. Um, they are a little bit wet, though. Oh, yeah. So, so after giving the mini jeep a couple minute break, we tried to start it up. Somehow out of the blue, it seemed to have completely revived right. itself. Okay, well, yeah. alrighty. Okay, that was scary for a second. I thought we were going to be stranded and have to leave Willie out here. Unfortunately, we had to make the decision to turn around. I really didn't trust the reliability of the mini jeep's engine, especially after going through that puddle. Alrighty. It's definitely sputtering a bit, but I think we're going to make it. I'm going to turn around right here. Okay. And it dies. So now let's just back up. And try not to fall off the mountain. And then start it back up again. Put it in gear. And then hopefully we can turn around without dying. And since I didn't die, I can now proceed to almost die on all the rocks that we have to go over again. And just as much as you guys, I would have loved to see what was at the end of the trail, as I was quite certain that the rocky portion was over. But knowing that the electronics were somewhat wet, I really didn't want to risk it and have to push it back down. So with the mini jeep seeming to be running okay, we started the journey back. But the mini jeep began to show that it was not completely fine, as it kept dying and making an odd noise. It almost sounded like the piston scraping inside the cylinder. Oh, come on. But in spite of all that, eventually me, the mini jeep, and my incredibly sore back finally managed to limp our ways back to the bottom. We then loaded up the filthy mini jeep then did the same with the absolutely mud-stained ATV. At the end of the day, every bone in my back was so sore that it hurt to stand up. Even sitting in the truck was a thousand times more comfortable than riding in the Jeep. One way or another, it was a trip that I won't be forgetting anytime soon. But for this trip, this is where the adventure comes to an end. Well guys, pretty awesome little series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. For those of you wondering, we did wash the mini Jeep and the ATV and they look good as new. They actually look as if they almost never went on the trip. That is until you go over and like try to shake the mini Jeep's suspension, then you'll notice that we, we clapped it out a little bit. But as far as both vehicles performing, the mini Jeep just completely blew me away with how it, how it went over those hills and those rocks and the puddles and all that stuff. Absolutely crazy. And for the ATV, it didn't seem like we ever had any issues with the CVT like I thought we would. It just seemed to keep itself dry throughout the whole trip. So thankfully all that's good. But that situation at the end with the mini Jeep and the odd motor noises or whatever at the end of the video, um, I did hop in the mini Jeep and drove it around a little bit and it just fixed itself. So big thanks to the mini Jeep for not giving me another thing to add to my to-do list. 
If you guys would possibly like to help me fund some of these uh, modifications and ridiculous things that we want to do with the mini Jeep, um, there's a little button down below called Super Thanks, and you can just give whatever amount you'd feel like you want to give. Once again, guys, I just want to thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. It just means so much to me. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay free.